50,000 guns to the government. They destroyed them. The program cost the government $500 million. Well, after that happened, in the first 12 months, homicides nationwide were up 3.2%. Assaults went up 8.6%. Armed robberies went up 44%. In the state of Victoria, homicides with firearms are up 300%. Figures over the previous 25 years show a steady decrease in armed robbery with firearms. There's also been a dramatic increase in break-ins and assaults of the elderly. Hmm. In 1911, Turkey established gun control. Later, one and a half million Armenians, unable to defend themselves, were slaughtered. In 1929, the Soviet Union established gun control. And for the next 30 years, 20 million dissidents, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and slaughtered. 1938, Nazi gun control said Jews are prohibited from carrying firearms and ammunition. They established gun control in 1938, and for the next six years, at least 13 million Jews and others were rounded up and exterminated because they were unable to defend themselves. Okay? China established gun control in 1935, and for the next 10 years, 20 million political dissidents unable to defend themselves were exterminated. Guatemala established gun control in 1964. In the next 15 years, 100,000 Mayan Indians, unable to defend themselves, were exterminated, killed, murdered. Uganda established gun control in 1970. For the next eight years, 300,000 Christians were murdered because they were unable to defend themselves. Cambodia established gun control in 1956. And from 75 to 77, one million educated people, maybe more, unable to defend themselves, were rounded up and exterminated. Defenseless people around the country, around the world, exterminated in the 20th century about 56 million. Next time someone talks in favor of gun control, ask them, who do you want to round up and exterminate? 